I like cake and custard. I like cake and custard. Hi everybody. Simon and Dorothy, what page do we have to open up to today? 17. Okay, open up your books to page 17, everyone, and we'll learn how to play cake and custard. But before we do, let's have a little sing and a clap through the words. Here we go. Ready? After me. I like cake and custard. I like cake and custard. You like cake and custard. You like cake and custard. You like cake and custard. We 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 like cake and custard. And repeat. I like cake and custard. We 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 like cake and custard. Hi Simon and Dorothy. Hi. Are we ready to play I Like Cake and Custard for the kids at home? Yep. Fantastic. Let's get a start. Do we have to move our thumb from the first string to the second string but in this piece we're also moving from an E to an F it presents a little bit of a coordination challenge now if you have a look at our first bar this area here you'll notice we have two high notes two of our E notes then we go lower and of course that's on a, uh, on a line Every good boy must be a B note. As you know, B is the next lowest string. And then we go back to E. And we have this rhythm. T, 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 ta, ta. Play this after me. T, 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 ta, ta. And go. T, 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 ta, ta. Now you notice this next bar is exactly the same. We've already done this in um, a tune called Work That Thumb. T, 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 ta. Go. T, 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 ta, ta. Now you'll notice that what was E, if you have a look down here, E is there and this note's gone up a little bit. So it's gone from E to, well, it's on a line. Every good boy deserves, what is it? F, fruit. So we're going to take our first finger and we'll put it on the first fret of the first string. In other words, on that little white sticky dot that you put down previously. So we have two Fs, two Bs, and two Fs again to that same rhythm. T, 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 ta, ta, do that. T, 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 ta, ta. And we have exactly the same thing. Now before you play that, you might notice that we have two Fs, two Bs, and two Fs. To play a B note, you don't have to take your finger off the F. You can quite happily, you don't have to do this. You can 
easily keep your finger on the first fret of the first string and keep playing that F. So we've got F, F, B, B, F, F. Do that. F, F, B, B, F, F. Try it again. F, F, B, B, F, F. F, F, B, B, F, F. I hope you didn't take that finger off. Now, of course, we do because we go back to E, E, B, B, E, E. And you'll notice it's exactly the same as what you've done before. E, E, B, B, E, E. Go. Okay, everybody, let's play. Guitar on your lap and thumb ready on the E note. Here we go. And go. My turn. E, B, B, S, E, go. Finger on F. And hold it down. F, F, B, B, F. And again. Go. Finger off. Third line. And go. E, E, B, B, E, E. Ready? And go. Let's play that again. Back to the start. And go. Finger on F. Go. Hi Simon and Dorothy, now it's time for a little flashcard work. You guys at home, can you have a look at this rhythm and tell me what it is? See, uh, you might like to clap it. Simon and Dorothy, what do you think that is? Ta 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 ta. Fantastic. Alright, people at home, can you tell me what this rhythm is? Can you clap that rhythm? Simon and Dorothy? T T T T T T T T. Can you clap that? Fantastic. Let's have a look at this note over here. Boys and girls, can you work out what the name of that note is? Now remember, it's in a space, so we count up F A C E, don't we? We spell the word face. What do you think this is, Simon and Dorothy? E. E. How do we play E? Fantastic. Well done. Have a look at this note here. Is it on a line or is it in a space? Is it in a line or in a space? Line. It's on a line. So what we need to do is count up every good boy and you'll find that this note is a B. 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 How do we play B? In the open B string. Open B string. Fantastic. String. Yep. Have a look at this note. Is it on a line or a space? Is it on a line or a space? A line. What's our prompt for helping us remember the names of the notes on the lines? Every, every good boy deserves fruit. So if we count up, we find that this is an ev uh, E for every, G for good, B for boy, D for deserves. It means that the name of this note must be... F. Uh, it must be an F. How do we play an F, Simon and Dorothy? You have the open E string here, and then you put your finger on the first fret, which makes F. Let's hear it. Fantastic. Alright, let's name and play this note. So have a look at that. You'll notice it's also on a line or space. Which one? It's on a line. Every good boy deserves fruit. Every... what is it? G. 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 Just play G. Fantastic. I think we may need to tune those it's guitars. It's the third string up. Third string up. And do you remember this note from our song, uh, Four String Rock? It's D. It's D. Fantastic. It's the fourth string up. Open fourth string. Very good. Okay, here's our prompt for the spaces. And what word does that spell? Face. Face. And of course we spell face from the bottom space to the top. F A C E. 
Let's have a look at this prompt here. Every good boy deserves fruit. These are the names of the notes of the lines or spaces. Which ones? Lines. The lines. Okay, so E for every, G for good, B for boy, D for deserves, and F for fruit. Okay, what do you think the names of these notes might be? Can we name them? Yeah. Now remember, do we go up by step or by leap? Have a good look at that at home. Do we go up by step or by leap? Step or leap? Step. Up by step. As we go up by step, we go up in alphabetical order. order. So if this note here, well, it's is it in line or a space? Line. Line. Are you sure? Oh, it's space. Space. What's the name of this note? How do we spell face? F A. 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 So we're starting here at A. We go up by step and in alphabetical order. So the names of the notes are A, B, B C, D, E, F, and G. G. Well done. Have a look at this rhythm. Have a look at this rhythm, boys and girls. Can I see it again? Can you clap it? Boys and girls, have a, go at ta have a go at clapping at first. You might need to work out whether they're tars or TTs and work out how many of each we have. Can you clap that? Simon and Dorothy, can you clap this rhythm One, for us? One, two, three. Fantastic. Um, do you remember what song we played that rhythm in? We play it in lots of songs, actually. I don't know. I like cake and custard. I like cake and custard. Oh. Yeah, very good. Or tidy up your bedroom. What song's that from? Homework. Homework. Very good. Oh, here's another one. Similar sort of rhythm. T t t t ta ta. E e e e b b. What song's that from? Any idea? Oh, no. At the beach tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> okay. What does this mean? Any idea? Do we talk about that? The thick line and the thin line. Thin line and a thick line. When you see that at the end of the piece, it means... It's the end of the bar. It means it's the end of the piece. Not the end of the bar, the oh. end of the piece, okay. end of the song. Have a look at this line, uh, this symbol here. The thin line, the thick lines, and the two dots. Thin line, the thick line, and the two dots. What does that mean? That you repeat the bar? We repeat, well, we, we certainly we repeat anyway. It's called a repeat sign. Yeah. We may repeat a bar, but we may repeat the whole piece. Have a look at that. Girls and boys, what do you do when you see this? What do you do when you see that? Uh, no idea. No idea. You repeat the bar before. 